Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 4th of October. We're actually, it's just one of our many signals that we give to our members every single day. In the members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets for potential long fifth wave trades and short with fifth wave trades on the daily, the weekly and the 60 minute time frames. And look at shorts today. And in their members area here for the 4th of October, it's very simple. Just click on the image down here and download the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet for the day looks something like this. This is for the 60 minute. As you can see, there's a lot of potential trades going short on the fifth wave and the 60 minute today. Uh, on the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see the daily and the weekly tabs as well. I've chosen one of these to go through. And so let's go and set that up. So first of all, this is the overview of the chart SYF on the 60 minute and uh, potential fifth wave move down to our target zone here. But first of all, this is the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, Ninja Trader NT8. I'm going to go on and set up the trade on the Thinkorswim version in a minute. But first of all, for those that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we've got to isolate at these highs up here. Uh, around about September the 21st and then our indicator suite automatically labels the wave count one two three and four into our pullback zones here so let's have a look on the think or swim version so this is that same wave four pullback but I've just um, increased the um, the magnification there so we can go on and set this trade up so first of all our scanner membership has some basic filters there it's raw data but there's some basic filters the first thing we've had a pullback against the main trend so the main trend for SYF on the 60 minute is down how can we tell that on our MTF dot cloud here we have our key our daily time frame in red dot so that's denoting a strong bearish trend okay and the, the main trend is down so therefore then we are having a pullback against there the wave force pulled back into our automated probability zones here and the amber zone represents an 80% probability if it finds resistance here it will go on and make that new wave 5 low into our target zone our automated target zone in blue here which it has done uh, looks like it's uh, had a nice bounce off there towards the end of the session yesterday the next is the false breakout stochastic here the top of the three sub charts this stochastic has a false breakout at the bottom this yellow line here this denotes a strong bearish move that we've been in recently the stochastics pulled back against there and crossed over in the overbought zone that means it wants to return to this main bearish trend the next is the performance of the wave four. The, the next the center of the sub charts is the our 535 oscillator that wave four pullback needs to happen between 90 and 140 percent to the highest point on the wave three which it has done you see it's here it's crowned in green it's between 90 and 140 percent so that looks good uh, we've had our mtf dot cloud pull back and now we're looking for those to all go red again before we get the entry here the the way for did find big resistance up here around 3205 so our stop loss is just above there at 3206 our entry strategy is quite simple we've got a, a special 64 moving average low here the red moving average low so for the first bar position today uh, we need to be below that um, 64 moving average low so what I've done I've taken uh, the low of this this pivot as well this indecision doji so a 3147 entry short for SYF on the 60 minute the stop loss again 3206 and then the automated target zone here we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into the bottom of the target zone at 3054 so very simple to set up from these um, this stock scanner membership the scan results uh, using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite just makes it that much simpler because we start to build a picture of all of those signals that are out and we can throw away the ones that aren't at high probability and this one is a high probability. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.